All right, so second piece uh, of information in a proton NMR, just like carbon. So in carbon NMR, we have number of signals, we have a chemical shift, proton NMR, just like that, follow the same trend, okay? All right, talk about chemical shifts, again, just sim similar to carbon NMR. So in carbon NMR, uh, chemical shift tell, uh, tells you what that carbon bonds to. It is electronegative atom by itself on a benzene ring or ketone aldehyde, like carbonyl compound, all right? Now, chemical shape of proton just like that I tell you the electronic environment surrounding each type of proton what that proton bonds to okay uh the chemical shape chemical shift is a location on nmr spectrum um that relative to the um, chemical shape of zero of reference compound tms tetra methyl silane same thing all right the four methyl uh four no, sorry, 12 hydrogens on tms um, show the same signal. These are the same uh, same protons, right? So same signal at zero. We set that at zero, and any everything else, any other signal is based off TMS. Okay. So this compound got two signals, so two, one and two. All right. All right. So again, same uh, same drill with the when I explain the chemical shift um, on a carbon NMR, proton NMR, same thing here. So we have to talk about the um, electron density shield and shielding depth effect. If a proton, the new nu is nuclei has um, a large amount of electron, high electron density, so we call this shielded. You need a lot of energy to make it feel something, right? And energy that comes from magnetic field. Um, <clears throat> the uh, if a nuclei has low electron density, you don't need that much energy or that uh, magnetic field strength to make it feel something. Okay, so we have a de-shielded, shielded and de-shielded. Now, what makes a nuclei shielded or de-shielded? Well, these are the following factors and aureo. So anisotropic effect, resonant effect, inductive effect, and orbital effect. All right. So we're going to start with something you're familiar already, the inductive effect. Um, if you, you have a Harry Potter fan, so you probably know the Dementor. What, 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 what do they do? Well, they suck happiness out of you. Okay. Uh, in chemistry, the, the Dementor is actually the electronegative atom. They, they suck electrons. Um, if you remember, remember, just review real quick. So uh, the elect electronegativity trend. So we have F O C L N B R S, and hydrogen is the um, lowest uh, electronegative in the, among non-metal. First organic chemistry need ribbon shot hooray. If you remember that trend. Okay. All right. See what's happened. So if uh, these two proton, the proton on the right just regular proton, but on the left side got a uh, attached to the carbon that next to chlorine. Which one? has a lower electron density left or right. Of course, it's gonna be on the left side, right? So a chlorine stuck electron away from the, the, the proton, right? So we have a de-shielded proton and a shielded proton. Uh, the chemical shift about 3.1 ppm versus one ppm, okay? Now, if you look on the spectrum, so um, the one that next to the chlorine, so this is gonna be more de-shielded and up here down field. All right on the right side, um, the right proton is just a regular hydrocarbon sh uh, show up upfield shielded. The electronegativity, so you guys know the trend, you know, the uh, higher electronegative atom, so the more de shielded the hydrogen is. Um, start with one hydrocarbon, iodine two, bromine 2.7, chlorine three, fluorine four. So chlorine stuck electron the best. Okay, so more de shielded that trend. Uh, the more number of electronegative atoms, the more de shielded the proton is. Take a look. Two chlorine, 5.3. Now it's from three up to 5.3. Three chlorine, 7.3. And the inductive effect decreases drastically over distance. And you remember from since uh, chapter three, inductive effect like that. Next to chlorine, about three. Further away, 1.6. Further, further away, that's 0.9. Just look, look just like regular carbon in there. All right. All right. So in carbon NMR, uh, I give you a chart. Now, proton NMR has its own chart. Let's take a look. I'm going to give you the trend. Okay. On the right side, guess what? Hydrocarbon always on the right side, upfield, right? And carbon NMR and proton NMR, they're the same thing. They show up upfield. Uh, so we have um, the primary carbon, secondary carbon, tertiary carbon. Okay. 0.9, 1.2, 1.7. It's around, around here. I give you the trend. About one. Just think about one. All right. All right, next one, we have alpha carbon, same trend, right? Just like carbon in the mouth, so we talk about alpha, uh, alpha carbon, so we have alpha proton, which means that a proton one position away from the functional group, this is alpha position, this is functional group, go one position, alpha position, functional group, alpha position, except alkyl, this is protons on alkyl, okay? 
So all these we got 2.1, 2.1 on the benzene, benzylic proton 2.5, and our uh, our uh, proton of terminal alkyne is 2.5, and about right here, 2 to 2.5. All right, all right. Next one now, elect uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, electronegativity. All right, we got 2.2 .2 iodine, uh, 2.5 for nitrogen, 2.7, 3, 3.7, and uh, fluorine 4. Now, for us to memorize, same thing. If you remember carbon NMR next to the oxygen, what's the chemical shift? 60 ppm, right? On proton NMR, 3.7. That's your reference point. Only one number. Please memorize this. We're going to play with it. I'll show you how to play with it. All right, so 3.7 uh, proton next to the carbon and next to the oxygen, directly con uh, attached to the oxygen. Uh, basically, the whole thing here, electronegative atoms show up about three to four. All right. All right, so we have five to six proton and alkene and proton and aromatic compound, seven, uh, about seven to eight. All right, so we have sp2 carbon, proton next to the sp2 carbon, proton bond to sp2 carbon, about yeah, five to six, and then it's about seven to eight. Okay, and the reason is we have anisotropic effect. We'll talk about on the next video. Here we go.